Hello, all you gracious viewers. This is Andrew Bermudis again here with another episode of Studio News. Now, before we begin, I would just like to remind you that be sure to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our channel, uh, check out our website at mustachemaniacsfilmco.webs.com, and check out all the great stuff that we have there. Now, let's get straight into the news. So the biggest headline that's come out this past month is the fact that we've had to delay Pharaoh's Quest The Curse of Omset Ra again. And when I say again, um, initially the film was supposed to come out in 2016, but then it had to be pushed back to 2017, with an anticipated release date this December. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to inform you all that the film has been pushed off again into 2018. This is mainly for quality control and, in general, for getting the film done. And not just getting it done, but getting it done well. Because, as you may have seen with films like Clone, I really wanted to push the boundaries of the way that these films look and making them look truly great. With that said, it's not all doom and gloom right now, however. We do have a story contest going on right now called The Canon That Time Forgot. Essentially, you're going to make an animated short film that tells the backstory for one of our characters. They could be a, a, a really obscure character. It could be a character that is generally well known, but the details from their past haven't really been established. Or they may have been established and you're just telling a adventure or a day in the life of that character from the past. And when we say from the past, um, we're essentially talking about any time before that character was introduced. So, and when we say when that character is introduced, I generally like to say that it was before that character was introduced in the canon timeline. So here's a good example. Ulysses S. Pal was officially introduced to the world in December of 2010. However, the movie that he take that he originated from when barrels fly takes place in 1890. So when you're going by this uh, scale, essentially, if you're to do a little film about Ulysses and about his backstory, um, I would place it before the events of when barrels fly in 1890. If you want full rules and how to enter, just take a look in the description and you can find a link to the contest video there. In the meantime, though, we are ramping up preparations for Digital Decade, and this means that uh, we want to hear from you about some additional supplemental material that you want to see us pursue during Digital Decade. Um, we actually have a poll up on our press room right now, um, and to make things more convenient for you, we will count votes by just writing things in into the comment section of this video. Um, so essentially, what the uh, what the we're asking is two things. One for the shorter one, how do you want us to release our longer films? So essentially, historically, like Secret of Marco Polo, The Adventures of Lego Man, Forest of Fear, we've had to release those in parts because we started before YouTube allowed users to upload videos that were longer than ten minutes. I actually remember one time with Secret of Marco Polo, I had to like slightly edit something from the DVD version of the film just so it would make it into that time frame so I could actually upload the video. Nowadays, that's no longer an issue. As you may have seen, the second and third Fan Choice Awards were each released as a single half hour video. Um, but I want to hear from you what you think about videos. Do you want them released in multiple parts so that you can so that you can enjoy the film in bite-sized pieces? Do you want it all released as one video so you can enjoy the entire film at once? Um, are you more interested in our short films? So would you rather want to see us pursue a lot of those in addition to our featured length films? Or does it not really matter for you just so as long as you get to see the finished films? So again, either go to our press room to check that out. I'll again link that in the description. Or you can just comment here and I will actually count those as votes as well. For our other poll that we're running, and this one directly affects Digital Decade, and I ask you to select two of these. 
um, because this one I allow for multiple responses. Basically, what supplemental material do you want to see during Digital Decade? In the past, we've already announced what we are going to do for Digital Decade, which is basically new movies and re-releases of old, original, older online films. Um, and I want to do some other stuff along with that for Digital Decade. So the options that I currently have and what they would entail is basically Lego set reviews, which is pretty self-explanatory. Studio tour, again, self pretty self-explanatory. Mustache Maniacs Film Co. Cinematic Universe Ex Explained series. So basically this would be an online series that would explain stuff in the cinematic universe that people are not really either aware of or things that need to be explained um it would basically be expanding the universe outside of the movies the comics the stories things like that dramatic readings of unused scripts so basically i would pull out a script for a canceled film and do a reading of it just to show you what could have been for that film how to draw series. Basically, I take a character from one of our movies and I would show you how to draw that character on pencil and paper. Resurrect one canceled script promotion. Basically, I would take one of the canceled films from the past, resurrect it as a film, actually make the canceled film and release that. I would, I would decide which film I'd re-release though. Interviews with actors from past productions, that's pretty self-explanatory. Introduce a new character contest, so this would be like the character creation sweepstakes from 2014, except for the fact that you would be creating a new character for basically anything. Uh, it could be a new character for a short story, or a comic, or maybe a movie, something like that, and you could get, have that character canonized. Uh, get your past online film canonized contest. Because this is Digital Decade and we're celebrating an online presence, I uh, thought of this idea could be interesting for you celebrating your online presence by taking one of the films you've made in the past, submitting that into this contest, and having your film canonized for this contest. And also a History of Mustache Maniacs Film Co. series. Essentially, this would be a series talking about the different years that we've existed, talking about uh, different projects, our history behind them, how they were developed, things like that. Um, so those are the options for supplemental material. Um, so just to reiterate, they are Lego Set Reviews, Studio Tour, Mustache Maniacs Film Co. Cinematic Universe Explained series, Dramatic Readings of Unused Scripts, How to Draw series, Resurrect One Cancelled Script Promotion, Interviews with Actors from Past Productions, Introduce New Character Contest, Get Your Past Online Film Canonized Contest, and History of Mustache Maniacs Film Co. series. Again, if you want to vote, just either go down link to the description so there's a link in the description of the press room where you can vote or you can just comment on this video and i will count those votes again for this one uh please select two because you can pick multiples but i only plan on pursuing the top two or three depending on which ones make it up at the top and that pretty much wraps up this episode of studio news there's not a lot going on right now but i hope that you have a great holiday season as it's coming up and don't forget, once again, to subscribe to our channel, check out our press room, uh, check out our wiki, our website at mustachemaniacsfilmco.webs.com, and don't forget to like us on Facebook, and so much more. Thank you for watching this episode, and I hope to see you next time.